Hmm. It's working. Okay. We'll try again. Let me hold on. Let me look camera and focus. Like, let it record for like a minute. See what happens. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. We're ready. Hello and good evening everybody. My name is Butterick. I am the chairman of the Universal Wrestling Empire. Tonight is a historical moment nonetheless. First ever press conference held in the UWE arena. This will also be posted online and DVD as well. Folks, save your questions until each and every superstar here in the UWE have spoken. First, I'm going to introduce to you the hardcore champion, Switch. Now I'm going to introduce to you the new midway champion, Justin Singh. And now I'm going to introduce to you the one, Andrew Turner. He is the heavyweight champion. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. As you all know, starting today is two weeks away, the road to Chapter X. Now, if you watch Sinful Sunday, it was definitely Twitch time. In fact, Twitch retained his hardcore championship. That's right. So that means that Twitch hopped right back on the roller coaster that everyone knows it's going to be a bumpy ride. And this was a very anticipated uh, event awaiting. Give me the microphone there. See what happens when you work here. It's like Simon. <laughs> As I was trying to say, everyone is definitely awaiting for this pay per view. Me, personally, I don't like the idea, but I believe Simon has a lot to do with this. But, you know, it, it happens. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I guarantee it. Yeah. I guarantee it, man. I like climbing myself. Well, go figure, you know. So, uh, without any further ado, let's find out what Twitch has to say about his spot for the Triple Threat at Chapter X. So, Twitch, come on up here. Oh, uh, you mean I got a stand? That's right. Don't fit my uh, you talk about a bumpy road. I've always been on the bumpy road as being hardcore champion. And turn it. Yes, I've had the hardcore championship. Yeah, but the belt you got don't mean nothing anymore. Don't mean nothing. And the guy that sits in between us, he ain't nothing anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Let's see chapter eight, so. Well, just bring. And I'm waiting on you too. So anytime that you guys are ready, we'll go. Please, we need some real gold talk to one second. Okay, so we'll find out. We'll find out. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna bring it to you and I'm gonna bring it to him. So it's all said and done, so I'm done with that. So Twitch. Twitch, what do you think about your injuries going into this match with Chapter X? Do you never play a part in the match in any way? Nah, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> uh, do you think you have a fair chance against the new heavyweight champion Andrew Turner who's on a winning streak as of late? Yeah, I got a I got a good chance of kicking his ass. All right, no further questions. Thank you, Twitch. Any other questions? Yes, Any which, uh, 
We heard in the back, in the backstage, that you and AC Rage were having some problems in the back. Is that true? Can you divulge on that? Divulge? I don't even know what that word means. But, yeah, we did have some words in the back. And, you know, he didn't even... I don't even know why I talked to him. Because he just... He, he's not even a wrestler. And he wants to go for... A hair versus hair match? Why why would I want to lose my hair? Hey, wait a minute. I'm talking here. You know, I'm gonna to listen to you when you talk. Twitch, twitch, twitch. I think the biggest question of them all is, um you have a problem in your matches with staying focused on your opponent. You're too busy worried about what others say, what people around her are talking about. Come chapter X, do you think you're mentally ready for this match? the biggest match in UWE history. Do you think you're mentally ready for that? To stay focused? Just from what you said before, that's all in the past. Okay, I'm totally focused. I'm kicking his ass and kicking his ass. Well, I mean, there's one over here. There's not anybody else over there. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. No more questions. Anybody else, anything else? Can I just go sit back down now? Please. We might be Please. Please. I have some uh, anxious fans out there and journalists want to uh, ask some questions that should wait for these guys to have spoken, as I said earlier. But anyways, um, it was said to be a competitive yet controversial battle. Finally, law and order was set forth by the commissioner, Simon. Because of the uh, self-proclaimed monster, he was kind of, as you've seen, unsuccessful. So folks, I want to introduce to you the midway champion, the untouchable Justin Singh. Untouchable. Thank you, thank you. Let's not even talk about Giant Lion. I have one focus, and that's being the unified champion. That's I can walk through you, I can walk through you. Doesn't matter who you put up, doesn't matter who wins the hardcore title, doesn't matter who the heavyweight champion is, Justin Sane's walking out the unified champion of Chapter X. I've had a pinfall on you, had a pinfall on you. You guys haven't even got close to a pinfall on me. So it looks like Justin Sane's got one up on you guys. That's fun. That's cool. Who wins only one time? Who wins? Shit. I got a question for Justin Sane. Yeah, why do you keep going around uh, wearing my belt? That's my belt, buddy. You know that was an April Fool's joke, right? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. What's that? You're not hey, supposed to hey, be, hey, you're hey, not supposed to be up here, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. All right, fans. Hi out there. The real you champ is back. Cut in on my line. Cut in on my line. Cut in on my The real champ is back. Is back. Oh, yeah. I'm going to step away from this one. You guys don't need to back tired of you. April Fool's, you're not a champion. No, you're not a champion anymore, Lionheart. He's the midway champion, not you. You're suffering from mental problems here, buddy. That belt might be yours by now, but by God, I'll be in that unification match. Twitch, 24-7, baby. Bernie, watch that. Anytime, I'm watching. And he can call Twitch. Who I know? No respect, man. Thanks for the question. Hey, man, anytime you want to go, we go. Got a girl. Doesn't mean that I'm a fan favorite of Justin Sane, but I'm doing what I'm supposed to do my job as a board to keep a close eye on this press conference. My name not tonight. Is it tomorrow? I'm so stupid. Anyway, finally, there's one way to be successful. And that's teamwork. Do you have a problem with that, Twitch? Teamwork. Ain't no I am team when you're hardcore champion. After a failed attempt from Buggery, wait, who wrote this? Failed attempt. No, 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 no. Failure is not an option or it's luck. I, I don't know who wrote that one. It's definitely, it's probably Simon's secretary or something, but this is crazy. I it was pretty good word. No. I didn't fail. I think you did a couple times. In fact, it took one man to step up the plate and crank a home run. He has none other. The one, Andrew Turner. Jet Lee. Uh, oh, boy. Uh, you suck. 
shortest world champion in the oh, universe. Right. <laughs> and the ugly. Yeah, easily. Definitely the ugly. The road to chapter is dragged in all over me. It's been a uh, how long been UW less than a year? Had that gold, had that around my crotch, and now I've had this belt. Road chapter X has been a bumpy one. I've I've lost my fair share of match, but I've lost this Justin Spaniel fluke win, fast mm -hmm. count. Twitch is not in my league. I'm the winner. The fact of the matter is, I'm not in your league. You're not in my league, sir. Looks or wrestling wise, trust me. Well, you agree <laughs> I am, so I mean. On to Chapter X. I got one that won't, you know, not guys. I mean. How much you weigh? How much you weigh? 150 pounds? Right. Wearing some skirts that don't fit right? Yeah, that's right. Back yeah, on to Chapter X. Thank you very much. Of, of How old are you, sir? You want to grow up a little bit? I mean, look at you. Look how you guys are dressed. Look how world hey, champion dressed. Come on. Focus. Do your interview. Chapter X. Go Chapter X. I've done everything in UWE. I've won every title. I've beaten countless amounts of people. Yeah, don't say you beat Twitch because you haven't faced Twitch yet. Yet. How many people have beaten you, Twitch? It doesn't matter how many people have beaten you. Have you? Uh, have you? Let's the man focus speak. on Chapter X, please. Chapter X. I'm the only person in UW that's ever made this history of three champions. And come chapter X, unification title, I'll make another bit, a little bit more history. That's all I gotta say. As long with one sentence there, <laughs> keep it short and simple. Folks, it is no secret, <coughs> all three that are sitting right behind me don't like each other. Definitely, you could you could you could feel the animosity that's just fumigating in here. It's crazy. So if you have any questions this time, let's do it now. And uh, you go ahead. Yes. All right, I got a question. Yeah. This question is directed towards uh, Justin Sane. Okay. Yeah. Justin Sane, you have the most um, <coughs> unique style, wrestling style in the UWE. You take big risks, high flyer, you know, a lot of a lot of acrobatic moves. Do you think that's kind of a risk? in your um, big three-way, because one little mistake could, and you don't even have to be pinned in this match to uh, not be claimed as the champion. Do you think it's kind of a, a risk? You, are you going to kind of change up your wrestling style for this match? No, I think I'm going to just go out there. I, I believe pain is glory. I'm going to bust my butt no matter what, and definitely going to get the first pinfall. I'm going to get the win. It's going to be a glorious day. And I'm not, not going to change my style for nothing. I'm going to flip. I'm going to kick. I'm going to do all of that I do. I'm gonna walk out the unified champion chapter eight. Uh, you, yeah. Real man, I'll cry. Yeah, yeah, me, me. Yeah. I, hi, Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Yeah. Do you think you're the underdog in this matchup? I definitely think I'm the underdog. But you know, it doesn't matter who's underdog or overdog. It doesn't really matter. It means that I'm gonna come out as the champion and. Great reasoning, I have to say. Any, any of them, it doesn't really matter about them. I'm still going to take the win, so, because I'm number one, so. Number one? Uh, we'll, we'll get to you, but how, how about you over there, back back there? Go ahead. Yes, go ahead, right there. Yes, hand him a microphone, please. Yes. Okay, yeah. I got a question directed towards Andrew Turner. Andrew Turner. Not to uh, take your mind off of Chapter X or all your accomplishments. This is kind of a uh, more of a, a personal, a personal question. Folks, have a seat. Let's move it around. Okay. You and Ryan Michaels, you have, you guys are quite the team. You've always been looked at as the person in Ryan Michaels' shadow, though, as the person to take his place when he's gone. As you can, as a way you can say, how does it feel that the um, student now has uh, passed the teacher and is now in the biggest match in UW history? Well, I wouldn't say past him per se. Ryan Michaels and myself go way back, and we have we have a friendship, a unique friendship, to where we know that in this business, this is what you fight for: your friends, your enemies. It's business. That's what it is. Personal relationships. Me and me and Ryan Michaels are fine, and I don't think we have anything to worry about. I think our friendship will be just as strong whenever we come out, whenever I come out of this match, and and he supports me in every way possible. Uh. 
some of these questions, you, you kind of wonder if uh, they're trying to break up your, your group there, you know, how they, it's crazy, it's one of my group. <laughs> All right, so, ma'am, have a seat, please. Thank you. Uh, yes, Can't you. Can't have my number. All right. No, no. <laughs> no, keep your shirt off, security. Please. All right. Thank you. Yes, lady. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jake. Yeah, okay, go ahead, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just as saying, I was walking by your dressing room, and uh, I'm not sure, but I heard barking. Are you not only physically prepared, but mentally prepared for this match? Yeah, are you yeah. psyching yourself up, or are you completely the losing out of pressure? The big dog is in the house. Barking. The big dog is in the house, and come chapter X, there's a problem with these two, uh, how they're going to become the unified champ, because there's one variable missing out of their equation, is Justin Thane is walking out the champion in chapter X. And it's just, it's just you're, simple. You're barking, you're on your knees. And, uh, I'm barking, you big tonight. dog, bro. Just a nice, you're dominatrix there, buddy. Jason, I won't get it right. Bad thing. Pay the price. Bad thing I think everybody's it. told that guy that. Bad thing about it is. Uh, Bad yeah, you. Yes, you. Go ahead, hand him a mic, please. Thank you. Hurry up. Oh, quit. Okay, go. I mentioned earlier about your um your problem to stay focused in your matches. What is your mindset going into this match? Nobody really needs to know that mindset. I'm focused, and that's all that needs to be said. Can you guys stop asking Twitch questions before you kill him? Shut up. <laughs> oh, yes, I got another question for Twitch. Oh, uh, good. Ah. Well, yeah, Twitch, uh, we spoke of the match between you and AC Rage earlier. Uh, how do you how do you expect to take him out when he's on a rage like he is? Well, he's a nothing to do with this. Yeah, what's that got to do with Chapter X? I don't know. Get, get, get him out of here, man. Oh yeah. I guess we're lying. I need to get brass knuckles with him. Yeah, I'm done, man. Uh, I mean, what's that have to do with Chapter X? <clears throat> I mean. Yeah, I'm telling you. Is there any more further questions? Yes, you? No, you? Oh, okay, go ahead. Make sure it's on Chapter yes, X. Yes, let's please. try to stick with uh, Chapter X. Damn. Andrew Turner, since you're the one that has been currently in the most spotlight for the winning the heavyweight championship and coming out of Ryan Michael's shadows, do you feel that you're the fan favorite here to win this match at Chapter X, headlining it? Fan favorite. I should be the fan favorite. Oh, fan favorite. These guys haven't even touched real gold yet. Why well, I even worry about them? If I'm not the fan favorite. There's something wrong with our fans. I say that. <laughs> you you want you want to say something? Yeah. I, I can't hear you. You're gonna have to get a mic. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. There we go. All right. Justin Thane. Kind of a question off of um off of the chapter X. You are a member of the COC with Jason Knight and Rampage. Now, I know Rampage is like the biggest history in UWE for the world title, and not him not in this match. How is that affecting him? As does it affect you in your in your your mindset for this match? No, really, nothing affects my mindset. But Rampage is doing fine. He knows it's all business. He knows that I'm gonna come and bring the gold home for the COC. Reign supreme, but no, it's, it's not going to change my mindset at all. And uh, Rampage is doing fine. All right. I got question. no more questions. For, yeah. All right, Twitch. Now you look back and you think, you think Jason, you know, uh, Justin's saying he's got a teammate behind him that he could look to, and so does so does Andrew Turner. How do you, how does it feel knowing that you don't have a click to follow you up into the Chapter X match? He has a big old life. Why in the world would you talk about my wife? Yeah. I'll get to you in a minute. This is why this is why you don't ask Twitch questions. Why do you got that? I'm not even gonna sit up here, I'll sit in front of you actually here. Why do you gotta go there, man? Twitch, stay focused. This is your problem. Just don't be funny. Come on. Come on. He has like his wife. Let's try to stay calm during a press conference, guys. Well, you know what I mean? Macking, punching, come on, let's quit it. Well, he's got he's to go there, man. That's bullshit. 
Ladies and gentlemen, you have any questions for the chairman? Maybe I can answer some for you. Yes, anybody? Chairman Bodrick, you've been gone for quite some time. You just made your appearance back uh, last week on Sinful Sunday. Yes. What has been going on with you? Well, as a chairman, I have responsibilities in the UWE, and I can't always be at the arena, unfortunately. But as I've seen the one Andrew Turner and the rest, Michaels and uh, Ken Cross have done a great job together as a team. And I'm very happy for him. I'm proud they got the Holy Grail back. Uh, you know, Michaels didn't succeed, but it's okay, though. Turner, as I said earlier, he was the one man that stepped up and cranked the home run. But uh, never fear, just because I'm gone, don't mean I'm not around and I'll see things or hear things. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, I've just been really busy. I got no more questions. Okay. And Buttrick, are you are you going to do everything in your power to make sure that this match is an equal match, that there will be no interferences, that there'll be, you know, the what the match is run the way it's supposed to run? Actually, the day of Chapter X, me and Simon are banned during the match, and so is all the other wrestlers in the federation. However, all three champions you see today, if they do make it to Chapter X, the day of. All three will be signing an agreement paper to unify all three titles. I am not allowed to be at ringside during the match, nor is Simon. We are allowed to watch through the monitors. That's about it. I'm sorry. But uh, it looks like our time is up, folks, here at the press conference. I thank you for coming out here and taking the time to ask questions to your favorite superstars and uh, thank you guys for as much as some of you I don't like no problem, but they, um, for coming out here they, so uh, they, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up once again thank you for coming out here to the press conference cool. thank you have a good one